Good evening. I am here, not live. I am recording this on Tuesday night, and it will be up on YouTube Wednesday. Uh, so, a little explanation here. I've said it on stream a bunch of times, but uh, Twitch currently uh, going through when this is uploaded. They're going to do a bit of a uh, we're going to do a bit of a blackout here on it because uh, there's been a lot of hate raids lately, and Twitch has not done shit for anyone. So uh, we're asking Twitch to do better, which I will make. Oops. Which I will make the name of this file. Uh, a lot of people aren't streaming. We're not even using Twitch. I'm not touching Twitch from midnight Tuesday until well after midnight Thursday. Um, or I guess Wednesday, technically, because today's Tuesday. But anyway, um, I figured I'd record a video off-stream and just upload it to YouTube and see if that's any good, I guess? Uh, I just finished Great Ace Attorney, so I figured instead of jumping into a new game or resuming something I've started or doing something off-stream that I don't want to do off-stream, uh, I've been in the mood to do Mario RPG again. I streamed it a few years ago in 2018. I've loved this game. I've played it a bunch of times. Uh, I played Randomizer with Kuro earlier this year for the Starlight Charity stream, which, by the way, I still need to go and uh, finish all my uh, charity incentives. So, I figured I'd play through it again today. I don't know if I'll f obviously finish this today. It's a long game. Well, not a long game. It's not a one-stream game. But uh, I'm gonna do... Not really a speed run, but I'm going to follow the safe route strats, and I'm going to see how quickly I can blast through this game. To be honest, uh, one of the main reasons this game has been on my mind uh, is because I've been watching the Game Grumps play it. Uh, Dan has been plotting through it. He, he's, he, he grinds, which is nice, because he does not get all the shit that's, that he can. Uh, he's doing surprisingly well, considering neither of them have played it. And I know a lot of people kind of shit on the Grumps, but uh, I, I think they're funny. When they try to be. There are a couple people who learn from their mistakes, that's for sure. So I figured, I kept thinking the last couple weeks, like, man, I am really in the mood for Mario RPG, even though I just streamed it a couple months ago. For a couple hours. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, uh, this isn't necessarily a speed run. in fact, I'm gonna be testing the waters with a trick or two by save stating and rewinding. Uh, but yeah, we'll... We'll do it. We'll have fun. We'll see how far I could get here. I have the buttons mapped properly. Uh, the cutoff... The cutoff stuff on the edge of the screen is only on the overworld. If you look in the battles, it covers the whole screen. So the... A basic uh, thing with this playthrough is that um, something that's actually something the game doesn't tell you. It's very interesting. Every two times you use jump, it actually gets stronger by one point until uh, I think it caps out at 127. So it ends up becoming like one of the strongest things in the game. It ends up and it's super cheap too. So the the speed run strats always kind of well, a bunch of them kind of. Uh, prioritize using jump as much as possible. Again, I'm not going to be following the safe strat route exactly. Um, there are a couple items I'm going to grab just because it only takes a couple seconds. And this is, again, this isn't meant to be a speed run. It's meant to just be me getting, wanting to play this game out of my system. I was wondering why it said do jump five times here, and it's because uh, you refill all your FP between battles here. So yeah, this is uh, not live. This is completely offline. I am, uh, as far as I can tell, yes, only recording, not live. It's weird to think the last time I played this game in full, when I streamed it, was uh, when my previous laptop was already starting to crap out. I remember it was way worse when I was playing Chrono Trigger than when I was playing this, though. I think I don't think it stuttered that much during this game. But yeah, I'm gonna be scrolling through the, uh... The, uh... Also, they say specifically to use untimed jumps... ...on the, uh... ...on the, uh, enemies, but I don't think it really matters, does it? Like, does the extra sound effect take extra time? Not 
move this over here like this. I'm gonna put this over here. There we go. Now I can see this a little better without having to, uh, without having to constantly click in and out. Yeah, like the safe strat route tells you not to fight anyone for the entire first area until the boss is. And again, it's because this game's um, damage calculations are very set in stone. If you know what you're doing, you could easily skip like a shitload of this game without having to worry about uh, being underleveled. You'll notice it especially during the Boyer fight in the second area because when you're doing that, um, you'll notice Gino always does the same amount of damage when you hit him with full when you hit with full charge shots. Standard full attack always does, uh, uh, 30 damage, and full Geno Beam always does 60 damage. Yeah, I love this game. It's, it's not much to say about it that hasn't already been said. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, toad. Hop. He's like, I'm out of here, bitch. Oh, I have to actually talk to Toad. Alright, never mind. I don't think I've ever seen the world map like that before. When I was a kid, me and my friend, who actually... My friend owned the game, and I borrowed it from him. How is this... Okay, so they say to skip this. They say to get this tutorial and skip it. But if you actually save, I don't think that tutorial happens. Or maybe it does, I don't know. But yeah, we actually didn't realize you had to talk to Toad and then go back to Bowser's Keep. We were actually stuck at the beginning for like a good hour. Because we were stupid fourth graders who didn't know any better. So this was the first roadblock, and then uh, the second one, I believe, was Krako in the Mines, and then Yaradovic. Oh my god, Yaradovic was the biggest roadblock for me and my friend for like half a year. I know that in, in this particular run, you need to, uh, you really need to stock up on items. Pipe house. Mario leaves a mad pipe in this house. So it actually does do one damage to you if you look in the uh, thing. But if you say, if, yeah, if you. So well traveled and experienced. I wanted to rush back at something to tell you. Yep. So it's actually way better because now without the tutorial, he does give you four mushrooms instead of three. You just have to deal with having one less health. So they pretty much say to skip the entire first screen. I am going to still get that toad. Life, well, yeah, life, but work wasn't, uh, super terrible today. It's been fairly decent this whole week. Oops. Whatever. I'm sure 
one punch it. Yep. Or I can one punch man these guys. You can Saitama them. Yeah, work's been pretty good to, uh, today. I, I, I'm chilling out a bit more, but it's still a little, uh... There we go. That's a speedrun strat right there. That's It's still a little more than I'd like it to be. I'm very tired of the job, mostly. I'm just burnt out from it, but... Whatever. I need to take some time off, and I keep forgetting to, like, ask for it. I was thinking, like, next week I'll take off on my anniversary stream, but I'm also like, oh, that's Monday. I'll just do the anniversary stream Sunday. There's no point. Shit. So much for the quick route. Turns out there is actually multiple timed hits. There's perfect, there's sloppy, and then there's no timed hits. Uh, let's not use the- you can't use jump on spiked enemies until you have the jump shoes. I forgot the level up shit here. Hold on. Uh, leveling strategies for the beginner route. Uh, Mario, all attack except levels 2, 3, 5, and 8 do magic. Okay. So next level I do magic as well. And again, I'm going to be tapping in and out here to... Okay, Toad, it's a hammer. Thank you. Never know, it may come in handy. <laughs> well, that's dandy. actually want you to sell the flower jar. That is a lot of money. Ah, oh, and they say do the equipment from here instead of wait. 
instead of do the thing from the other plant, uh, other plants, plants, pants. Okay, tip, if you jump too far, you can actually land in front of the block and move forward. You, okay. If you missed the grabbing the frog coin, so you can reset, simply reset and save again. Proceed to the throne room, mash the cutscene, then leave the way you came. Oh, they proceed to the throne room. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow, they actually tell you not to go through the, uh, the cellar. So I'm going to try max skip. I'm going to save state to till I get it. Uh, it's really the only major skip in the game, and even then it only saves... Well, I mean, it saves the boss fight, which is minutes, but... It is still quite ridiculous. The Toad. I like how there's Toads, but there's also The Toad. More dialogue from here from him if you don't have the uh, hammer uh, equipped, rather. Well, that item's pretty useless, actually. <laughs> that is useful, though, as a flower. Oh, wait, you get an item here later. You get an item from Toadstool's room now. It's a syrup? Not a mushroom. That noise. <laughs> Molo reverb fart. Reverb Molo. that there's cutscenes you have to jump to get through, and, like, they don't tell you to hit the B button instead of hit the A button. ba da ba da ba da bam Alright, uh... Talk to him. Also, how does he know Mario can do that? makes that noise the first time he's there, and then every other time you see him, he makes no noise but the whoosh sound. And it's just the kind of place you want to go you want to have near your, your kingdom, a bandit's way. Save. Mm 
Caracola. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever. It's my chance to use jump. And I can use them on spikies now. enemy right next to the full heal. It's really funny that the, uh, the guy was like, oh, you level you hit level two here. I hit no levels right there. <laughs> Put Mala with pants if needed. Say, yeah, magic power, magic power 25. So, if you use jump 254 times, it goes to be, it becomes 152 power. It doesn't actually reflect that there, but every two times you use it, it goes up by one. So it becomes ridiculously powerful. Uh, 15, okay, so I do need... Mario always jumps, model defends. Well, which is funny because fire is actually really good against uh, Croco. Rain! Alright, Malo, all magic except levels 3 and 4 do attack. Okay. So he's at level 3. First two level ups. Boom. 
boing. All right. That's a refill there. Head to the castle. Save at the inn before attempting max skip. Uh, run to the top left corner. Okay. Oh, so it's going straight to the max skip. All right. Who's the guy that lost the wallet? Him? You could say this till after, but it's like, yeah, why not? I'm here. Again, the jump power-up only affects, uh, jump. It doesn't affect any other moves. So that's why using jump a bunch is optimal. Flower tab Gold coin, it's all mine! <laughs> Wake up, Pen. Nice. Wake up! Give that to Malo, just because it gives him a little, little beef to his stats. Not much, though. I'm actually gonna- I'm not gonna save, I'm gonna save state for this, so... Alright, so, uh, the way this works... No, not save- save game position. Here we go. There we go. First step. Run to the top left corner. Okay. Walk along the edge until you- to the right to the collision stops forcing you down when you're just to the right. Enter the site, position yourself at the bottom tip of the wall. Jump to the right while pressing the run button and land past the first spring. Land behind the first jumping shy string. You should hit an invisible wall to prevent you from going further to the right. Pushing as far right as you can. Oh my god, this is rough. Okay, that didn't work. How do I, uh, how do I reload? So jumping on top of them seems to always cause that to happen. All right. Don't move too far right in the area through the bus. If you did it right, you should end up jumping on top of Shyster. This is the most difficult part. This top of the jump, you need to move down slightly to get position for the final jump. Mario's foot's partially covering Shyster's eye. That seems to be step one. Failed step one. <laughs> Alright. Push as far as right as you could go against the invisible wall of the shy sphere. Okay. Now you need to jump right while running, but stop moving right very shortly after you jump. The exact time you should be as the is coming down towards the ground. Don't move too far right in the area to trigger the boss fight. Hey, I did it! Wow, that is very finicky. Now you position yourself so you're just over there, apparently. Position your Mario slightly lower on the shyster's head. Okay, that looks like about the right spot. 
Finally, jump upright while run holding the run button. Timing for the final jump is just as the shyster approaches the peak of his jump. If you time it right, you should land on the other side of the line. The shyster is now simply run up. The chance to talk to him to finish the fight. Okay. We're upright. We're okay. Yeah, we did it. That's not too bad. I like how the, the room isn't loaded properly, so um, the king, the chancellor, actually goes to the pillar a bit there. Not bad. Not bad. I think with a little practice, I could probably pull that off very consistently. It's, it's, it's lenient enough that you could probably pull it off pretty easily. It's just having to completely restart in a... Uh, in a speed run, or having to completely reload just would take way too long. Also, uh, since I did it, let me let me save game again. That saves a fair bit of time. You don't uh, you don't fight the boss. You don't have to watch the cutscene. It just goes straight to this. You do lose out the experience, but I mean, it's not a whole lot. Also, you don't get the star piece menu until uh, you get the second one, but it is there. That's like the only sequence break in the game, apparently. That's why they call it cricket when a frog makes the cricket noise. Caro sewers. Belome. If you wait here, it actually gives you a tutorial. Stand the pipe and push down. Also, it doesn't actually say you have uh, one star yet. Jump, Pandora should die if all jumps are properly timed. If not, went off. Well, attacks on Mario. Okay. Magic for Mario at this level. For Orb. Got a true form pin. You get a lot for beating those things. After fight. Go back back up the cane by jumping off left off the second step on the landing. Oh, hey, didn't know that. I'll come back and 50 coins. Jump back up the pipe this time. This time continue up left. Oh wait, no. Attorney, uh, live dub outtakes. Edgewood's voice actor, he like chokes on his words at one point, and he just goes, uh, uh, poison! Who 
do 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 grab the star and kill the four rats. Nice. I did that perfectly. Purely fest itself to kill the rat hanging out here. If you don't have the star anymore, just jump over the rat and into the pipe. Okay. The water has been- what the fuck? Okay. The water has been drained. Best part about this game, no worrying about, uh, losing progress for anyone if they fall. Okay, do attack. So now Malo is all magic from here on out. Okay, uh, ba 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 Button to drain the water, go back down the- Do not take the spring back to the entrance, it's much slower. Head down southwest and enter the pipe, okay. Yeah, that takes you directly to below. Whoops. Below me. <laughs> below me. Perfect. It's really, uh, really generous with that. There is a way to get up there now and get the, uh, cricket thing, but eh, don't worry about it. Does physical attacks. Best RNG, Malo jump. Or Mario jump. Malo use honey syrup. Malo gets eaten. There we go. Jump. Stop me from using my best move! Jump! That'll work, I don't think that works if you're already a scarecrow. So two, three, not, not four, then five and eight. So it's all attack for him now. Be as safe as possible and sure you get 60 or more coins. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. Coins here are different. These coins hit a bit different. The 
big thing here is that they want you to prioritize the frog coins. Only get that one if you miss the one in Mushroom Kingdom. Switch lanes. And then grab one and then switch. It's mostly to stay in the bottom lane. Most of them. 73, nice. I do believe you get something else if you get all 100 coins possible in a single go. Wow, apparently you get items here that don't get used to the second to last boss of the game. That is ridiculous. Frog dude. <laughs> That's what they refer to Frog Fuchsia as in the uh, in the speedrun guide. What the? Oh, it, for some reason my computer like auto highlighted the other window. That was weird. table had a face on it, like those were two eyeballs. But uh, it is actually a cup of tea, apparently. Patience, young one. You are only 23, apparently. Patience, young one. Fuck, that was the one thing I wasn't supposed to do.
Is he a spine? Really weird. Blah 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 blah. Here, give me my thing. Sniff with one F. Thank you. Juice bar. They say buy five fro froggy drinks for safe strats. And now they say buy three sleepy bombs and one energizer. I don't have room for any more items though. Pure, wow, pure water sells for a fucking mint. All right, let's get that out of there. Oh, I think you have one fro frog, loop, frog loop coin left over later. Okay. We don't even do the uh, the music. Again, I'm only loosely following the guide, so... Ow. Purple Mario. This one's so get the flower. So the problem is you get so obsessed with the, uh, the minutia of the run. You don't even realize, like, where the good shit is. This is a pain in the ass. I hate getting this chest. That's not part of the route. That just happens. Yeah. Run north, avoiding the bandits, wandering bandits, and the lack of two drops. Okay. Stop. 
Yeah. Are you? I remember all the sound effects in this game. <laughs> Still, what that's supposed to be. That, that weird Goomba glow there. Do we go to the pipe vault at all in this game? This run? Probably not. Oh, you actually don't do any shopping here. There's, there's no consequences because if you say that this, it's like, hey, this we get hit by arrows, I'll tell you a secret, and it's like, here, go left, left, straight, right. That's some nice shit. Ooh. Say no if you're Mario to save some text boxes. Also, when this cutscene is happening, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It's apparently 90 seconds long, so good chance for me to uh, take a break. Wrong number. Oh, you're a fake. Well, you'll have to do. Let's play my Geno game. After Gaz says, oops, I think I missed. Click that and begin your break. <laughs> We're less than an hour in. Pretty good.
Almost made it. Almost. From the sound of it, I'm only a couple seconds past when the cutscene ended. Okay, wait, am I still audible? Yeah, I am. Alright. Having these mushrooms? Let's go to the hidden area. Was it left, left, straight, right? We're at the one hour mark. Energizer. The Energizer? The Energizer comes in. Look, 
look, it's the first boss of the game! Holding a mysterious star piece that we've never seen before up to this point. I, for some reason, me and my friends all have the same VR chat model of Boyer. I don't know who made it, but we all thought it was hilarious, so we all have it. Spinning. Thirty. Always thirty. Now Molly uses the energizer. As I just said, on Gino. Forty five. What? Uh, that, that's not good. Wasn't how it was supposed to go. Uh, Junior's Gene. Okay, well, since I fucked that up, let's do that to make up the damage a bit here. My timing is really fucking off with this. Ah. There's the seizure, seizure procedure. There we go, 90 damage. That's how much it should do. Items, which is good. 
They tone that effect down on the uh, virtual console release. Okay, any point when the third star is on is good. So yeah, 30 damage, uh, 60 damage, and then if you have the, uh, if your attack is buffed, it's always exactly 50% more. Same with defense as well. Okay, uh, Mario at level 5 is magic. Malo at level 5 is attack. Wait, what? I thought Malo was only level 3. All magic then, okay. And then Geno's attack, except for the first two levels, HP. Who's the Froggy Drink after Static E? If you freebie the Energizer, have Model use it on Geno in the next Croco fight. Mario reaches level 4 attack. Yeah, pff, already way past that. Okay, and they, they immediately tell you to go to, uh, Moleville. We're completely skipping the Yoshis. They ain't got no part in the story. I already have one for some reason. I don't know where that came from. Alright, uh... I am gonna go get the thing in Rosetown first, though. Despite the sound effect, you do not get any coins for that at all. The game does not reward you. Oh, uh, now everyone's gonna get work pants. So work pants are the only pair of pants that can be worn by everyone instead of just Malo. And the difference between them and every other piece of equipment is that work pants increases attack. Completely optional. Mario has a seizure in midair and then dies. Oh, you could buy the finger shot. All right, so this is just get. This is just saving me money. I love how Mario's about to punch a kid. I kinda wish they'd done that on a, that scene on Game Grumps, so I just wanted to see how they would react to that. My winces in pain. We're all at full right now, yeah. actually say buy four work pants for an unnamed fourth character. It's a secret tool that will help us later. Pipe Vault, fuck that. Moleville. Toot. Buy. Punch Glove. So yeah, the finger shots here as well. Symbols. One, two, three, four. And that's it. So 
sell the froggy stick when I need to. So yeah, work pants increases your attack as well as your defense. It's not the best um, defense. It's obviously not the best defensive equipment, but it's the only defensive equipment that raises your attack, so it's really, really useful to have. You want to just beat things quickly. I thought he had, what, 18 units? Two, two spaces ago? Now he has six, and then he loses all of them within the next level. Menfolk be stuck inside. I don't know if you need to do this cutscene, but I always do it. I love the mole people, they're cute. I'd smooch them. The men and the women. Dodge him. I'm in it for the money. <laughs> Jump on the spring on the third screen and hit your head. Yep. <laughs> oh, I didn't save, did I? Alright, you know what? I'll do a safety save state here. Just just in case this doesn't work out right. Chase there's a croc on the band, it's a circle clockwise, counterclockwise direction is okay. Now it doesn't work like that though, because you have to come in here first. They actually say to fight all the bandits now. Power tabs can be used uh, to, to buy stuff. On him, but he dropped the flower tab. I'm not going to sell these, though. I'm just going to... Bam, bam, bam. Like that, that echo lasts a while, man. Missed. Yep. See? Did slightly more damage. Yeah, the 
coins on me drop the flower tab. Shit. Alright, actually, I have a good idea here. Um, use Malo to heal, then we'll use the flower tab to refill all of our FP. Nice. Gino leveled up. Uh, what does Gino do on his first level up? Attack? Except the first two levels do HP. Okay. Here's to be Krako, blah 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 blah. If you free if you free bead <laughs> the energizer, which we didn't. Have Molo use it on Gino at the start of this fight. Gino attack every turn, Mario jump, Molo attack. When Mario runs out of FP, use attack. Use pick me ups early in the battle when needed. This battle requires good blocking in the second half. It can't be blocked. Keep Mario Molo left to heal. Ugh. It's jump attack, jump. Or rather, attack, 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 jump, attack, attack, jump, attack. Mario's the only one who could jump, so what does it matter? box for that too. Makes this run way easier just to have more flower points. Actually, yeah, it says something different. There's a 25% chance to get a flower. Wow, that flower box is actually uh, not uh, guaranteed, huh? I actually recommend you get the frog coin from down here.
Level six attack. Oh, attack! There we go. Malo reaches level six. Uh, magic. So he's all magic from here on out. And then Gino is attack for the first HP for the first two levels. Oops. Have to beat this guy. And jump, but whatever. Yes, so Super Jump and Ultra Dump don't count for that counter, which is interesting. Jump is the only one that increases its power over time. Oh yeah, it has been a while. Okay, there we go. Mars always use jump, Gino and Ma will always attack. Oh, that's it. That's that's the whole strategy. I keep hitting Y every time I go back to Gino. Grab as many coins as you can. The minecart, the coins in this area are for important for bomb shopping. You're getting coins is far more important than getting a fast time. Follow the green arrows for the optimal route. Coins in. Okay. I love how this bomb is so big you can see the artifacting around the edge. 
I'm sure on CRT TVs it looked fine, though. Oh, there's no coins in the in the 3D section, the mode 7 sections of the minecart though. It's only in the side scrolling ones. to go. Zoople duple. Alright, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. That. Don't need a warning. way. I can never use this route. Such a pain in the ass, too. Still faster than going the other way. This, you crash automatically in that spot, if you don't slow down. It's deceptive. Mario just fucking dies. Running low on pick me up, so now's the time to go buy some. Make sure you at least have five in your inventory, as you will need them for the bunt fight. Ugh.
roof doesn't matter. We'll just leave a hole in it forever. Sniff it, beetles, yada yada yada. This run doesn't make you fight booster, right? That's still slower than actually getting the amulet, and the amulet's way better. Are we doing the pick-me-ups? Uh, I've got more than five, I'm good. Found a frog coin. I had no idea that was there. <laughs> this is technically a safe strat. The hidden switch back here. I don't know how I knew about that as a kid, but I did. Way quicker. I have confidence. How does Toadstool hear Mario and uh, Bowser talking from all the way up there? Tall tower. Also, it's really funny how later they all jump off the top of this tower, even though Toadstool couldn't have done that herself. Really silly. Really silly game this is. And my way, Shorty. Unceremoniously joins the party. Guys will show up again. Make sure to pick the second option. Is, yeah. No. We're good. Faces the wall. He's a rather funny man. Do we get the masher? Nope. Nope. What's that loud noise outside? Check out Booster Pass. Oh. Supposed to fight that thing. Bra bombs. I remember when I first played this game and saw that I was like, "What? Aren't they called bob bombs?" And I, I realized it's because um, enemy the RPGs have recolored enemies, and I didn't know. I never knew. They say avoid taking the safety save here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. How about I do it anyway? Bomb, jump at the save point, run down the hall, and ignore the booster family portraits. Okay, Bowser, fuck your weapon. We're going away. Oh, 
Fum. Do image of this room show up jump path. You can just exit the room. He's gone, that's not fair. There's like three different ways to, to Oh yeah, it's apparently apparently if you follow this guy to a T, Booster is unbeatable. He will fuck you hard. Does Mario doll didn't get up there. Also, how does he not recognize Mario if he has the freaking doll? What? What is this game? Who is Booster, in fact? Why does he have a bull hat? mindset behind this, but okay, it's Booster, fuck it. Easy shit. Easy shit. What's 
sniff it doing? May happiness follow you wherever you go. I love that line. Here's the password. Twitch, do better. Seriously. Don't go out the door yet. Switch Bowser for Malo. Malo's out. Bowser's in. Work pants. Zoom shoes. Did I not give... Uh... What's his face here? Oh, no, I gave the amulet to Mario. Okay. Did, did I never give anything to... Uh, to... Gino? No! He never equipped it, uh, he never equipped a, uh... He never equipped an accessory. Well, since I'm here... Now, nah, let's give him some points. Gino attack. Great guy always. Bowser uses Terrorize. Must This must put terror over both. Oh, interesting. There we go. They've been terrored. The generous. Mario uses Fire Orb on Knife Guy. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a that's a thing, all right. <laughs> nice job. Have Bowser attack knife guy along with Mario's orb until knife guy falls. Okay. shit. Oh, Mark can't jump anymore. Try to get at least four to five five flowers minimum, but eight is optimal. I've also never they also recommend selling all your shit, so I have way more flower points in this run anticipates me having. Just wanna make sure everything's still recording, right? Yep. Test, uh, something out there. Bing, bing. No, go away, Toad. Ah. 
I've always seem to forget that you cannot move back and forth in this. That barrel got, like, caught. The thing is, Booster himself kind of ba moves back and forth a bit, so it's possible to, uh, catch him. Not bad. I love how it's flowers in quotation marks. Like, oh, they're not really flowers. Don't worry. Head left, left up to the inn. Oh, okay. Go to the second floor. Grab the frog coin. They really want you to make time for the frog coins here. Exiting this way. Oh, it actually does let you go to the world map. Later on, it stops you from going that way once you have Peach in your party. Sorry, Toadstool. Okay, I know it's. I know we're going fast, but I had to do this at least once. I could just leave the room and come back in and talk to the door. She loses her wedding gear. Yeah, now Booster licks her tears, which is really gross. I don't know why he does that. Kind of fucked up if true. Mash, 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 buttons. Let me just grab this shit. Oh my god, it's so much. I can't deal with this. I can't stand this. I can't stand doing this. First time I did it, I did not realize the crown was on Booster's head.
Yeah! Mario just stands there completely unamused. It's like it's like late Yagami looking at the porno mag in uh, Death Note. Yes, my son's looking at porn. It's completely normal, even though he's like looking at it with the most disinterested face. It's not porn. It's like a lingerie model uh, magazine, but. It's cool. Anyway, for some reason, Apprentice is still named Tort, and uh, also, they're both just invincible. They're the strongest characters in the game. Why do I use Caracol? Oh, fucking hell. That's stupid of me. Let's use the fuck froggy drink. Be ready for this, huh? Use the red essence on Mario. Oh. Before attacking again. Let him like the cake once more and begin phase two.
Bunk uses Sandstorm, especially when you use a Froggy Jingle, otherwise keep attacking, then it's just bad RNG, Sandstorm, or multiple uses of it. Basically, yeah, Mario used Jump every turn while Bowser and Junior would use regular attacks. Use Pick Me Ups often. Bowser's a tank and will last the longest. Alright, well, we did it at least without wasting too many extra items. Froggy drink. The, the, it's so weird. The freebies like auto always go to the back of the uh, the back of the thing. Randomizer, when I was racing against Kuro, uh, I got Yardovic here, and I remember Bowser at that point was doing like 600 damage to him or something. That's one intimidating cake. Mistaken, the final snippet here could still be visible at the bottom. Yeah, look, the second one you could still see him at the corner for a second. Mario reaches level seven, so it's attack this level two, and then next level's ma magic, and then from then on it's uh, the other one, HP. So okay, Geno boost, HP, and the rest are all attack. Model seven, so it's all magic from this point. And then Bowser's always attack. And Peach has one level of HP, and then the rest is magic. I've actually never checked. Is she in the party right now? Yes, she is! I never, I never noticed that. The thing is, like, the game forces you to go all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom right after this area, so... I've always seen this game as, like, two halves. The first half is getting off of all... first half is getting all the party members, and the second half is the rest of the map. And it kind of plays out that way, too, because you get three star pieces, um, then in the next area you get one just at the end of the area, and then the, the last three are the rest of the game. So it kind of works out that way. Sorry, six star pieces. I get this neat little cutscene that you only see once of Mario jumping up the world map. And the castle and do the really long cutscene. Yeah, this cutscene sucks. It's very, very long. <laughs> We're only two hours into this run.
Oh, look, can we talk to him again and skip the rest of the game? <laughs> uh, ba -da 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 -da. Can't tell him truth if this gets out finished. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Cutscene, Scoopa Troop. Uh, we'll exaggerate a little bit. Blah, 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 yada, 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 like a stream, except no one's watching me. So, actually, it's exactly like a stream. <laughs> and no one's here to say otherwise. Oh, yeah, something I didn't mention. I'll probably mention some stream uh, later this week when I come back. Um, after almost seven months of waiting. No, more than seven months. I ordered it in mid-January. Today, on the last day of August, well, now it's September 1st already, but today on August 31st, I finally got the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Physical Collector's uh, Classic Edition for uh, Nintendo Switch. Seven and a half months later, Limited Run Games finally got to me. Without even a shipping notice, they just, they just sent it to me. And it was here today, it was there when I woke up, nice surprise, was not expecting it, don't know when the hell I'm going to stream that. I looked through all the special stuff already. It's really nice. There's a little... There's a instruction manual, a little fake concert ticket. Um, uh, some stickers. The soundtrack CD, which is the full official soundtrack, which is really neat. Um, a giant poster of the world map. And a physical box for the game, as well as, well as the physical cartridge. Uh, I mentioned the instruction manual already. And it also came in a big plastic box that's supposed to look like a Sega Genesis... Uh, like America Sega Genesis uh, game box, complete with a little plastic tab on the top. Anyway, so that automatically makes her drop. But yeah, I got I got it. It's here. I don't know where to put it, because it's too big for any spot that I have. I'm, I want to put it next to the Scott Pilgrim DVD, but I don't have any room there. I'm really running out of room for, like, all my shit, which is really upsetting. I want a nice big game room, and it's just like, I do everything out of my actual room. Okay, now I gotta go to uh, Tadpole Bond, and, uh... Talk to Frog Fuchsius real quick. There we go! That's all we need to do, and that unlocks the next area. Do we need to do anything else here? Now leave, but don't go to Star Hill yet. Head to Booster Pass first to make sure you're coming from the Moleville side. Okay. Poor Yoster Isle. Uh, secret entrance, jump across the line of platforms, or sniff it, run into a trigger part way across in order to avoid the sniff it. Okay, I don't care. Enter a secret area to get some items. Wait, really? It's just... Yeah, well, they actually don't follow up on that. They just say get all the secret items. So, fun fact about that, that, uh, sniff it. Um... Uh, If you actually manage to lose to him, it's not a game over. Instead, what happens is it uh, takes you to, um... It, you just revive with one HP, and then he runs off and he gets crowned uh, Sniffit 4. And you can actually do that with, like, eight, like up to eight Sniffits. And then the last one uh, that tries to go over there will be like, uh, he gets caught in the side, like, he's in the side of the room that they're all in. He's like, uh, Booster only wanted, like, eight Sniffits. And he's like, I'm stuck being an apprentice. And then no more of them spawn. It's actually a really weird easter egg, because by the time you get to that point, that enemy is too weak to kill you. Like, you purposely have to go in weak, and just let the enemy, like, off you while you have 1 HP. The thing is, once you've done it once, um, you all revive with 1 HP, so it's easy to lose to the rest of them. Okay, anyway, Star Hill. I believe 
to Stark Hill. Okay. Yeah, talk to the flower and Stark Gate will open. Have to go to the bathroom again. Uh. the pointy monsters on Star Hill. Talk to the little stars with faces, they have wishes on them. And there's a couple that actually activate cutscenes. And there's the fourth star piece. Very, very easy. to get the frog coin from the wallet. Well, whatever. Whoops. I have the goodie bag. It's fine. Spree of the run. When selling your items, number of coins you could have is capped at 999. However, the game will not prevent you from selling more, but from no benefit, you'll need to make multiple tree trips. You want to sell the smaller items first to make room in your inventory. Okay, well, we want to sell these. These. Able juices. Everything but pick me ups. Bum, 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 bum. Sell items, least to most expel the Kira Kira Colas. Whoa, no. I'm not selling that. Oh, that shit's worth a lot. Yeah, 200 each. Unequip the Zoom Shoes from Bowser. Okay. Sell equipment, Zoom Shoes, all un old unequipped. What? Uh, no. Okay. Buy three Fire Bombs, eight Ice Bombs, eight Fright Bombs. Oh, wow. We really do need a lot of money, huh? Three fire bombs. I mean, eight fright bombs and eight ice bombs. Oh my god. Still need six more f uh, ice bombs. flower tab here. We got a lot of flowers as it is. So I still need four more ice bombs. Oof. Problem is, this is the only time you could buy these from here, so if I can't get them by now, then it's not good. I 
Uh, all items except wallet, flower tag. Okay, you might also need to sell some extra pick-me-ups if you need at the end of a room. Depending on the amount of coins you have, you should be able to buy the bomb, that bomb ratio. If you eat Krakow's three bandits and mobile mines, you should- okay. Always buy three fire bombs. You need a lot of fight bombs for Yavrovich, and ice bombs help with future boss fights. Make sure you just have 75 coins left over to buy the early gloves left after that point. Oof. here, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to grind some coins out, I think. Oh, you need to talk to the Elder here. I love how this guy's like... Yeah, I'm clearly evil. Gotta be a quick way to make some coins here. Uh, I could probably do this. I just don't want you to go back. Always attack. Fighting these dudes. FP is gone. Luco. Uh -oh. 
Uh oh. That's not good. That safety save. Wait, I took it before I got the star. So that means that all of the uh, experience I got is gonna stick. still. Bump. Fire level 8 is magic, I believe, yep. Bowser is always attack. Gino is always attack at this point. Malo is always magic at this point. And Peach is HP first level up and then magic every other level up. So Malo and Peach, magic, Gino, Bowser, Mario all attack at this point. So the magic user's magic, attack user's attack. Shit. I don't have any coins though. What the hell? Okay. What level is everyone supposed to be at? Seven. Bowser reaches nine. Gino reaches eight. Okay. Malo reaches seven. Toadstool's at ten. Alright, so we're all at this the level we're supposed to be. Instead of leaving the west exit, go back. Okay, grab. Now, the southwest, don't jump in the water instead. Or really? So we didn't actually buy the the Hurley glove or whatever it is. Oh, you could buy them later on in here. <laughs> okay. We still don't have enough ice bombs though. That's kind of the big bitch right here. Yeah, it figures the game gets hard here. <laughs> to uh, duck out of uh, the strategies now because it's like you're so far into this. Oh, you can't actually heal unless Gino's in the party. Uh, mo- uh, Toadstool, rather. There we go. Go! Go! 
god, that's overpowered. Ridiculously overpowered. For four flower points? Re ridiculous. But I can blast at these pretty quickly, so... Stupid me. Ignore what I just said. Three hundred twenty nine coins, perfect. We're good. Buy Hurley Gloves and Handgun. Equip Amulet Mario. Well we already had that on there. When did I unequip that? Bowser Hurley Gloves. I misspelled it. Equip Gino handgun. And the true form pin, which is right here. Polka dress. Why does Bowser not having a piece of equipment here? There's coins in there, but just really hard to fucking beat this area. Okay, just squeeze by there. that was an I instead of an L, and I used to think the password was Pyrrhus for some reason. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Pyrrhus? What the hell's Pyrrhus? Shit. 
Bowser uses Fire Bomb, both tentacles should die. Cool. Oh, Mario uses Fire Bomb. What happened? Bowser's not fast enough, though. Okay, whatever. Oh, all three tentacles should die. Nice. So yeah, uh, boosting affects even the uh, item use. So like, if an item does 100 damage and your attack boosted, it'll do 150. Pretty good shit. Bowser uses Firebomb, both tentacles should die. Nice. Gino attacks, Mario uses Firearm, Fire Orb. Seed, blah blah blah, avoid the bolt bills, make a room, but if you not, uh, that does not trigger battle, so it's to punishment, run at max speed, you'll need to jump, which is second cannon, third, okay. Annoying. Aha! Excellent. Oh, I forgot there's an enemy in there. guard against magic attacks like that. Ice bombs that requires a thousand coins. Ugh. Probably sell the royal syrup. Is it? Bottom edge in the middle of the room. Hit an invisible switch block. I, hmm. 
recommend not fighting this thing, but I'm pretty sure it has a good item. coins. Safety badge. Yeah, there we go. That's a good item. I think that prevents instant death. Prevents mutant poison. Ah. Prevents mutant sleep. Won't be turned into mushrooms or scarecrows. I don't have a whole lot of here. I might have hit my limit here because I just don't have enough uh, coins. I could get two more ice bombs, but then I'm still short too. Whatever, I'll go back. Doesn't take nearly as much time as it seems. Yeah, except when that happens. Couldn't run. Kind of me, huh? Right, forgot that every time you load the room after fighting a chest enemy, you get some more. More 698, so I'm almost good to buy three. die immediately once you use special uh, attacks on But it's really funny, because when you just attack them normally, you do a shitload of damage and they just don't die. Interesting. I think it's like a cutscene of you just jump, yeah, and then you just walk forward.
cure of royal syrup is a uh, is a uh, fifty. Cure cure is worth two hundred, of course. Pure water is actually worth a lot. You can get those fairly early in the game too. It's worth stocking up on them. Okay, so I can buy three of the, the remaining bombs that I need at this point. The roots just made around having the, the resources to buy them by the time you get there. That dry bone's in the corner that's on the ground. You could actually wake up. Oh, things don't, don't drop any uh, coins, but they do drop pure waters, which are really good. So, also, you don't have to go to the sea again to get over here. You just bounce right back out that pad. Okay, ice bombs. I have four. I need eight. So if I sell the Kara Kara Cola, I should be able to afford it, but I also don't know if that's a good idea. Super okay. Oh, it's all the safety badge. Oh, bam. There we go. Perfect. Fully equipped. That was all I needed. Definitely the part of the game I was dreading doing the most, but it's going fairly well, all things considered. Hey, it's so good to see you. Something, he mentioned something about my password. I'll give you a hint. Yeah. Oh, do I have to... Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm curious at what he actually says when you enter the password here. He makes a comment about the password now, if I go back. I know, speedrun, in quotation marks, am I right? Guess what, your password is correct! Nice! <laughs> Pretty good. Less than... I didn't start this run at exactly when I started the uh, thing. It's not bad. I also sped up through the two accidental uh, recaps, but I also reset after all those failed max skips. So I don't know. It kind of evens out. You know you could do that. Oh, you little bitch! You're gonna gank me from the corner. Heads up, wait, take the whirlpool to sink to the bottom, head back to the previous room via the bottom left exit. Oh, okay. Yes, it's kind of weird how this game works with the uh, underwater stuff. Nice hit detection there. Pull again and exit upright to the second room, to the next room. Isn't, one of the, isn't there like something hidden behind me? Something over here, like this stack of barrels or some shit? No, that's later. It's always one of the worst screens in the entire game. <laughs> Is 
Safety ring. That's not the same thing I just had, right? That's the safety badge, is what I had before. Guards against mortal blows, yeah, that's the thing I was thinking about. Head directly up, okay. Uh, ba 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 Head back out, climb up the stack of barrels to the surface, don't go to the door yet, turn around, back and out of the water for a frog coin. Stop modeling for- okay. Ah, uh, I see. The corner there. So why is it dry in this room, but wet in the other room? Let's just swap, swap this in. Don't change any of his equipment. He's not wearing anything, though. He's got work pants symbols, and I took off his other thing. Give him the safety ring. He needs that defense. <laughs> um, jump shoes uh, aren't as good as the amulet. Amulet. Say untimed, but I'm gonna time it anyway. Let's grab the mushroom chest downstairs, switch Bowser back in for Malo, and we should be ready. Oh, after both fights. Whoops. Ah, whatever. We have more flower power than we need. Bad mistake here. Shit. Oh, you can just, you can just run from them. That's cool. Peace. Peace out, bro. Missing all of six flower points, which weren't anticipated that we'd have at this point. Pick it up before you start. Attempt super jumps if you think you get eight plus super jumps consistently, with a chance of getting more each try. You don't need to get a hundred; would be nice. But if you can take fifteen consistently, that's enough. Can't do can't do super jumps at all. You jump instead; it's still effective. Do you know he's a sleepy bomb? Okay, we're gonna see how this plays out here. Johnny's like little sprite on the overworld. Gino uses sleepy bomb, Bowser uses fright bomb on Johnny, and Mario uses jumps. Okay. So sleepy bomb. Nice! Now Bowser uses fright bomb on Johnny, Mario uses jumps. Gino attacks, Bowser attacks, Mario jumps. Okay. Okay, 
you don't want to kill all the bandana blues, because then you get challenged to a one-on-one -on -one fight, which is, uh, way harder, because if Mario falls, then you're screwed. Gino uses Sleep Bomb again every third t Oh, okay, never mind. Same exact thing. Second verse, same as the first. Now we use another sneaky bomb. Bowser attacks, Mario jumps. Okay. Keep doing the same routine until Johnny falls. Go. Properly time normal attacks on A+. Plus, you could only need two sleepy bombs and the blue bandana shouldn't wake up. Yeah, and they just disappear. Super flame. The shocker. You guys didn't do fucking nothing. You fell asleep during the battle. Arr. Hand over the fake start of the- yeah, you don't- you want to give the start of the Elder immediately, because the quicker you do it, uh, the better item you get. You know Bowser looks like he's, like, really upset over this for some reason. This is 100% currant juice. It's mighty tasty stuff, mate. Cur I've had black currant before. It's very bitter. This is why you have to buy the bombs before getting that star. Yep, give it to him immediately. I should buy the EXP booster, which I have exactly more than enough for. Perfect. If you're one short, rip run, but you could- okay. Switch- Switch Peach into the party for Bowser. Just Toadstool Geno and- okay, that's weird. Equip Mario with the jump shoes. Peach with the safety ring. Where is it? I'll get, the sh get that shit out of here. Equip Gino with the amulet. Go save it the bit. Safe strats. Exit the fight. Okay. Did we never get Mario a better weapon. <laughs> that tells you when you get a new ability. That's really nice. The game is very beginner friendly. to do a safety save state too since I've been loading them. Oh my god, the, the strategy for this is ridiculous. Okay. This is like a full paragraph to fight this boss. So yeah, this was the other big roadblock when me and my friends played it casually. It took us like three to four months to finally beat this enemy. We were just so underleveled. Okay, try to have three fight bom fright bombs, four ice bombs left over. Use up to three fright bombs and then use any fire bomb freebies you may have gotten. Then use up into one fright bomb, then use your last fright bomb if you have to. Okay, Gina boost Mario. 
Peach defend, Mario use Fright Bomb. Okay, Mario's gonna use a Fright Bomb. Interesting. Water Blast, everyone should survive this. Mario Fright Bomb, Geno Boost Peach, Peach Boost Blue Puck, okay. Blue Puck is a- so her healing is not only cheap and super effective, but it also heals status ailments. Blue Puck for 4 FP is like the best healing in the game, without a doubt. Alright, Mario Fright Bomb again. Gino boost himself. Peach use therapy, group hug as needed. Okay, so therapy is fine. She gives herself therapy. It doesn't even heal that much more, too. It's like 10 more. It's just half as cheap and half as expensive. Fright Bomb again. Looks like Mario's just gonna keep using Fright Bombs. Also higher level than what they recommend, so. Alright, now Gino just attacks. This battle scene, this battle scene is also really weird to me because it's the only time you see this one. And they use it in the opening for like a random enemy. But it's I never understood why the rocks go like up the wall, like up to the sides when you're on a flat piece of land next to the sea. My fright bomb. Garage attack. Tell which one's the real one because A, the clone will take a more damage. The cursor starts on the real one when selecting the attack. Focus the attacks on the real one. Okay, so it's the top one. Uh. Gino attack. Okay, this is... It's pretty much all the same stuff here. Should probably just defend this turn. Not that really matters. Ah! Oh! for that. Wow. I fucking ate those words, huh? I only have two Fright Bombs left. Uh, Mario Ice Bomb, Geno Attack, Pete. Okay. Even uncharged, that's enough. One more ice bomb. Nope, that's not enough. There we go. One fright bomb too short, I think. This area has no, uh, no star pieces whatsoever. Alright, I could probably sell all the flower items I get now. There's no reason to 
be stingy with the, uh, the boxes at this point, or the flower points. Shop middle, talk to the weapon shopkeeper, sell flower box, buy a double punch. So I have more than enough ice bombs, but I'm short one fright bomb. I should have used the fire bomb. That way, Alright, buy the double punch. Oh wait, I, there's probably more. Trooper Shell. And Hurley Gloves if you didn't buy them in the sunken ship. Okay, got them. Equip, Experience Booster, Mario. Equip, Geno, Double Punch. Equip Bowser, Hurley Gloves if you didn't buy them in the sunken ship. Okay. Switch Bowser back in for Peach. Go to the real elder in his house and then head to Lynn's End. Okay. <laughs> All things considered. Yeah, 59 flower points, that's fine. They, they anticipate me having way less at this point. On the first screen, use a can to shoot yourself onto the moving yellow platform. Oh, it's tempting to fight that thing. Yeah, the timing on these cannons are really weird. Thing, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what this boss is supposed to actually be. At all. That did fuck all nothing. Also, the numbers appear weird on those, on those enemies. On this enemy. That's Bowser's poison gas cloud thing, too. It's it's very... This whole fight is a mystery to me. Also, love how we have not gotten Mario a better weapon in two maps now. Look at the word miss appears there. That's very awkward. Slightly north of the block's peak of being up to grab the red essence hidden in the box. That didn't help me. Mario? Cooperate! Making a game isometric uh, platforming. Really smart move. 
really a beautiful, just a beautiful move. Or you jump the cannon, run to the middle of the open space to reveal a hidden platform. Spawn here? How? I know there's a way to make a platform spawn up there, but... You should basically say this will avoid having a, if you miss time a shot and land the hole, just try to jump out away from the monsters you encounter. There is a way to get up there, and I forget how to make that platform appear. Yeah, whatever. It's obviously not important. See up the right. Well, avoiding the echoes of your right, you can okay. Fall off, use the cannon, and we'll have to get back up again. Shit. the under level part of this run is almost over. I do have to stop soon, though, unfortunately, so I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Uh, maybe I, I will come back to this, and I'll probably finish it later. Just because I'm enjoying doing like, a quick run of this game. I don't think we need frog coins anymore. in my favor. <laughs> Ignore the shaman dude and hop in the issue issue cross the deck. Only if you do the the game itself is it not uh does it not do that? See if you want the first desert screen when the whirlpools. Ah, easy on each screen. Ignore the whirlpools. Head up to the next screen. Each the screen, see the ant like enemy. Need the ant to trigger the yeah. First time you do this, you have to actually fight them, always. 
bomb. Use an ice bomb each time you run to an ant to win instantly, and then go into the same whirlpool the ant was into progress into the next screen. Got it. Nice. Always gonna have a few extras. Problem is that, yeah, the whirlpool's kind of fucking peace out for a bit. Holy shit! Red letter day for old Michael here. Antlions. Antlions. Wow, Gino! Luck is off the charts right now, and I'm getting pick-me-ups too, which is good. Good at the enemies purposely speak, like, without text boxes. Four in a row, Jesus. That luck. Poison gas. Gears. Gears. Time for death abuse. Five stars. <laughs> Switch Malo and Peach into the party and unequip everything except the EXP booster on Mario. Save on the block. From this point forward, put all the stats and everything. Atta everyone gets attack except Malo and Peach. They get uh, magic. Now hit the first star and kill enemy in this room. Do I have enough coins? Yes, I do. There's always leave one monster alive for this to work. As the star runs out, die as fast as you can. You will respawn the save point with all your coins, but keep your XP. Repeat this process four times after dying four pun okay. Yeah, this is this is the part where uh you start making up all the lost levels. Come back, that's a revive, perfect. Star, so you went for 400. Yep. said. Everyone's completely unequipped, except for, uh, Mario. Who has the experience booster on. We simply let ourselves get absolutely wrecked. And then we rinse and repeat five, four more times.
now we simply respawn here with all of our experience. Yep. Now we just do this four more times. Now we get our coins back too. Stopped working. I don't think you get the coins for doing this, though. Like, they don't drop their coins. Why are they missing him? Why are you missing? Why are you missing? Honestly, I feel it's better to leave one of the dogs alive upstairs than have one of them uh, just kill you. I think they hit harder. play this game before Scarecrow, you can't use items or attack. So I have to defend, otherwise I'm attack, I'm using specials. And Mario has no neutral specials, all of his are attack. is the max in this game, by the way.
care. Poke. Two more. One level up from that. Yeah, it really slows down. Also, because I'm higher level in the game than this run anticipates, I'm probably... That last run through is probably not going to be necessary, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, so they anticipate that you're spending the 400 coins here. So next time I do it, I actually finish. Threshold of how powerful I can be for this. Bowser Gino. Mario Trooper Shell. Work pants. Put the amulet on after this. Equip Bowser with the true form pin. Equip Gino with the safety ring. Use the two stars one last time. Exit. Why don't you just do this thing after this so that you can keep the experience booster on for one more round. Super powerful. As soon as we get some good equipment, we're pretty much up to, if not past, where we know we'd normally be at this point. Levels should be around, but exact, but may not be close to. All right, okay. Mario at 18, so he's 19. Bowser's 16. Yep. Gino's 15. He's 16. Malo is 16. Oh, wait a minute. 
that a mo- oh, well, he's leveling up in one more fight. Toadstool 16. If you still have not equipped your goods, another reminder to do so. So Malo's a little bit behind where we should be somehow. <laughs> after all that. But he only by one fight, so he'll level up after one more battle. Pay for the shortcut. Don't use it yet. Empty the coin chest in the second scream. Scream. Talk to Shaman, then go left, middle, right. Okay. sometime in the future. Straight through in the next room's elevator. Yoshi cookie. To re enter, try again until he's hungry, then proceed down. Yep. Ah, uh, bad luck. There we go. This fight was another bitch, I remember, when I got past the, uh,. Right past Yarrow to Vic. Gino uses Fright Bomb. Oh, I only have two of those left, though. Well, if I'm lucky, I'll get a freebie. He's been lucky so far. Bowser attacks, Mario attacks, all in bloom. Meanwhile, Mario still has his dink of punching gloves from earlier. Oh, wait, no, he's a Koopa shell. Oops. Completely forgot. Bowser tastes disgusting. Mario tastes disgusting. Peach tastes good. Malo tastes good. Wow, those fright bombs are no joke. All right. Gino. There we go. Now everyone's the right level. First house thing, talk to the thing upstairs, da 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 ba 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 beep ba ba do ba do do bum 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 Ding 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 I'm sorry Yeah but ba da 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 ba Oh Oh nice Let's just talk to the elder once more Oh, now it's actually you go back to uh, Land's End. They don't do any of the, the bonus fights or anything. So, fun fact, the, the player's guide says that that pinwheel in the corner there, if you set its speed to slow, it makes the pinwheels in uh, uh, Nimbus Land easier. Which it does not do. It does not matter what speed you set that pinwheel to in this house. It does not affect anything.
And the temptation to do all this stuff is strong, but I also just want to kind of beat the game. Anyway, I got the balloon key, which I'm not supposed to do, but... Yeah, whatever. I'm here to have a fast time, not a good time. Eh, it's a good time too, though. Firebomb, Royal Syrup, Max Mushroom. Worth picking up. I want to do this minigame in 12 seconds or less to receive the Troopa pin. Yeah, I know how to do this. Mm. There, there's like tricks to how this works. Shortcuts that I have developed after long periods of trial and error. Sideways isometric jumping, so. Yep. Eleven ninety. Whoa. That was right next to the dead to the fail condition. But hey, I did it my first try. Bean Valley. Switch party to Mario Peach Gino. Equip Mario Troopa Pin. Grants Troopa confidence and equip Gino with the amulet. Equip Peach with a true form pin. Wait, what? And again. Why is the true form pin in the wrong spot? Also, we're gonna put, uh... Pipe on the right side of the screen uh, after I fuck up and fight the enemies real quick. All five pipes, say if you need to, then go to the next screen and fight. 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 <laughs> I went up eight levels. Sleep now. Gino boost himself. Peach defend if she wasn't asleep. Mario attack. Oh, 
Fino use Ice Bomb. Peach use Ice Bomb. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. She's asleep. Time to wake up. No, Peach. Maybe wake up now? Why is her speed not as high as it should be? There we go. Oh, uh, yay. You suck. You fucking suck, bro. gonna do shit, he's a mushroom. What the fuck? Uh, all because Peach couldn't... Mm, she couldn't pull it out. Come on. Any of us turn back now, please? That'd be good. Turn back from this, you know. Ah, that's and then oh, okay. There we go. That held up a little bit, but hey, it worked. Ice bombs, I could probably just toss another here. And I got another one! Oh my god, that ice bomb look is ridiculous. I know, I'll run away. Regular item? Yeah, it is. possibly get that yellow vine, but it's really, really annoying. It just leads to some extra goodies. Oops. Fighting these guys, I believe, makes platforms. Birdie. They remind me of my friend Nalos. He's a little hard to birdie. funny saying that because anyone who's not a furry would like be like what the fuck are you talking about a 
look at that, I did 400 damage with the jump. That's how ridiculous this is getting. this far already. Man, this really is a quick run. If you know what you're doing. I'm pretty sure my first one of this game, the run I streamed was like 20, 24 hours. <laughs> I'm less than four hours in. I'm in the second to last uh, map now. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a one-part video. There's no way I could stream this until I finish it. Because I only have like another 30 minutes before I have to stop recording. I was I'm gonna do voice acting auditions tomorrow, but I'll probably return to this and finish it. Finish finished it? Finish it as well. Queen Valentina. Big titty. Step on me, lady. She, she's she's Lady Dimitrescu of the 90s. She's the the big titty step on me bird lady. I can't carry any more items. Mushroom 2. I, I already have enough syrups here, don't I? Yeah, I have two royal syrups, so it's fine. Mega Gloves Hand Cannon. Shows you. Oh, hey, there's something up there. Ah, uh, frog coins. We don't really need frog coins at all anymore, do we? Use of the silence animation to uh, make it look like Mario's bowing. stays in that position, then goes back to normal. <laughs> Mariata.
what he just did there. Give me a kiss. Kiss on the cheek. Dodo! My favorite birdie in this whole game. Alright, this fun little game. Love how well orchestrated this is, too. Yoko Shimomura showing her genius here. And that's the fake out. And then he goes somehow through the back. Worth it, because you get the feather. Switch back to Bowser, Gino, Mario. Equip. Troopa pin. Oh. Amulet on Mario. And Gino with the feather. Let's get out of here. Upper left. Stay in the upper level of this room. Eh. Now there's the damage I want to see. Defense is still pretty crap, though. I thought I would go the first door on the left, proceed to the door on the, uh, the, the Sears. Use the flower jar, okay. It's pointless. Please, give me the key. Purple robe. Oh, this dude. Ah. 
Ah, fuck. Oh, okay. Gotta fight that heavy trooper, unfortunately. Piece of shit. Yeah, whatever. A lot of your experience couldn't hurt. that game. There we go. Alright, time to play with our favorite bird. Wait, I just said, uh, I said Dodo was our favorite bird here. Dodo actually a bird. freebie would have been enough, but unfortunately, it was not good. fight that one.
Mape scare. Mape skip. Mape skip. Mape skip. You can actually just skip this, apparently. I love how Malo even, like, entertains the thought that his father might be bedridden. It's like, uh, probably not. Do not go here. They purposely say, do not go here. Oh, fuck. That was indeed an enemy. Almost had it. Mario before. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Wait, did I say that out loud? Oh, fuck. I've been watching some of Vinny's old, uh, Spelunky VODs. Not VODs, but like best ofs. And it's making me, uh, in the mood to want to stream a Spelunky one since I have it on Switch now. I have not made any- I played the tutorial and I did a bunch of runs where I died in the ruins, or the caves, or whatever the first area is. I made it to the second area once, and met the, uh, shortcut guy once, and gave him his, uh, his bomb. So long, chumps. middle. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, that start does not last very long, but you get to kill Dodo. I also love this room, how they... Three bricks. Also, why the hell does the back of the castle just drop off into nothing? It's also really weird because the music's just playing incorrectly now. Make sure Bowser is in the middle slot of the party. Yeah. I get past this part, I'm gonna stop for the night because it is almost four in the morning now. Not 
bad. I got to this point in four hours, considering it takes tw like 20, 24 for me to play this game normally. There it is. There are the Bobberts. Bowser attack Dodo each turn for two to three turns. Block the regular attacks, hold strike. Good RNG is he only uses regular attacks for Flutter Hush. He really doesn't have a lot of HP. Geno boost, Mario, Mario attacks. Okay, well, let's do a jump first turn. Pretty good. but it's going to make this a little quicker, I think. Yeesh. Not a fan of Gino. Boop shot. Once I get done with this, I'm gonna grab the fertilizer, and then I'm gonna be done out here. Oh, 
large stealth star fell in the volcano. This is the point of the game where I start losing interest. Like, the volcano and Bowser's Castle are fine, but man, it's just... Something about it, like, it, it feels like I'm hitting the sloggy point of the game. Of course, I'm playing a very abbreviated uh, version of this story, so... Flower jar, hell yeah! <laughs> Oh, you're supposed to know to come over here. hell this was about way back in the day. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? I didn't even know this place existed. Because it's not here when you first come to Rose Town. This path doesn't show up until like close to the end of the game. It's like winning the lottery without the taxes. Do you have taxes and lottery in the, in the Mushroom Kingdom? this baby. Got a lazy shell. Got a lazy shell. This tanks Peach's speed, but it is uh, well worth it. Meanwhile, Mario, there's like no downside to having the, the lazy shell equipped. He just doesn't need anything else for the rest of the game now. <laughs> So, no, there isn't. Beyond the cliffs is the volcano. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because mm. it's, it is four in the morning. Uh, I will finish this up mm. soon, maybe tomorrow, and then I'll upload it before I come back to stream on Thursday. We'll see. Uh, but here is where I will jump on. Yeah, five stars in less than f well, just over four hours. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna call it here. Um, this will be uploaded Wednesday evening, so it'll be up in place of a stream tomorrow. Uh, hope, well, if you're watching it, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be uploading another one as soon as I can finish this run. And then when I come back to streaming on Thursday, some new stuff. But yeah, y'all have a great evening. 
and good night.